everyone, Maya here from My Storybook, and since spring is the season of new life and cute baby animals, this week's featured storybook is titled Gaston, and it's all about an adorable little puppy dog. So in this bulldog and poodle-filled read-aloud, we learn about what it means to be a family and what it means to truly belong and be yourself. It's important to always be who you are because really you can be however and whoever you want to be and whatever feels right to you. And as Gaston will learn in our storybook, it doesn't matter what you look like, it matters about how you feel inside and how you really want to be. Now, for those of you who are joining us for the very first time, welcome to my storybook. And in my storybook, I'm going to show you an example of a shared reading read aloud, which means I'll be showing you how to incorporate vocabulary and point out some main themes and ideas during a read aloud, as well as how to ask questions throughout the reading to really engage your child in conversation and dialogue throughout the story. So all of these activities throughout a reading will really create an engaging, beneficial, and truly interactive read aloud experience. So, are you ready? Let's begin this week's springtime puppy read aloud. All right, my friends. So this week's featured storybook is Gaston, written by Kelly DiPuccio and illustrated by Christian Robinson. So that means Kelly DiPuccio wrote all of the words and Christian Robinson drew all of the beautiful pictures you're about to see. So, Gaston, that's the title of our book, and that sounds like a name to me. Whose name do you think it is? That little puppy dog on the front? What a cute little puppy dog, huh? It looks like it's a French bulldog, and Gaston sounds like a French name to me. France is another country across the sea. And my friends, what is what is Gaston doing? What do you notice also about this cover? Yeah, it looks like he's sitting on this fancy chair and he's got like a book over there. I wonder I wonder what do you think this book is gonna be about? What's gonna happen to Gaston? Those are some good ideas. My friends, so this book is about a puppy. Do you have a puppy? If you do, what kind is it? And if you don't, what kind would you like to have if you could have one? If you want a puppy. Or maybe you want a different kind of animal. There's lots of different things you could have as pets. When animals are babies, they're really cute, huh? All right, my friends. Well, let's find out what happens to Gaston. So here's our title page, which means it has the title of our book, Gaston, the author, the illustrator, and a cute little picture to go on with it. What do you see going on in this picture? See another kind of dog here? Looks like a poodle. And look over here. Hmm. All right, let's begin. Mrs. Poodle admired her new puppies. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. My friends, so this is Poodle, Mrs. Poodle, and here are all her puppies. What do you notice about the puppies? Does one of them look different? Yeah, Gaston looks a bit different than Fifi, Fufu, and Ooh La La. Those are fun names, huh? Want to say them with me? Here, let's go over the names again. This is Fifi, Fufu, and Ooh La La, and Gaston. Those are fun names. French names, it sounds like. So I'm seeing three puppies, one, two, three, that look the same, and Gaston, who looks a bit different, huh? Hmm. Wonder what's going on there. Would you like to see them again? Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Perfectly precious, aren't they? Aren't they cute? They are cute. Which one do you like the best? It's kind of hard to pick. They're all cute. Mrs. Poodle thought so too. She thought they were cute too. The puppies grew, as puppies do. Three were no bigger than teacups. So teacup is like a really small cup that you use to drink tea. So three of them were small, no bigger than teacups. Which three do you think stayed small? Fifi, Fufu, and Ooh La La. The fourth, however, continued to grow and grow until he was the size of a teapot. So the teapot is the bigger one that you use to pour in the tea into the teacup. And do you know which one was the big one that was as big as a teapot? Gaston. Ah, so even grows differently than the other ones. 
Do you think he's a poodle also, like the other three? No. Why don't you think so? Maybe there's been some clues, huh? Mrs. Poodle took pride in teaching her puppies how to be proper pooches, how to be polite little puppies. They were taught to sip. So sip means to drink really carefully. Can you sip a cup of tea? Never slobber. So slobber's like... That's inappropriate, huh? Hmm. Can you try the slobber? Good. Well done. Very nice. Nice try, Gaston. Is he as good at sipping carefully as the other ones? Not really. He kind of slobbers, huh? They were taught to yip, never yap. Yip, yip, yip. What sound does Gaston make, though? Can he yip? Gaston says, ruff. That's a different sound, huh? doesn't sound as small and delicate as the yip yip of fee fee foo foo and ooh la la. So how are some ways Gaston is different than his sisters? It looks like he's trying hard to learn. And they were taught to walk with grace, never race. Tip toe, tippy toe. Whoa, super fast it looks like. <laughs> it doesn't seem like he can walk as slowly and carefully as them, huh? The puppies were also taught how to look pretty in pink, nibble their kibble, and ride in style. How are they riding? How do they get carried around? In pretty pink purses, huh? They look stylish, you think? Whatever the lesson, Gaston was always the one who worked the hardest, practiced the longest, and smiled the biggest. So does Gaston mind that he has to work really hard to be like his sisters? No, it looks like he's happy to try hard and it looks like he likes his life, right? Huh, look at them. Here's Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La and Gaston. How does he feel right now? Really happy, huh? He has the biggest smile. My friends, do you carry your dogs in your purses if you have one? Some dogs might be too big for that, right? Mrs. Poodle was very pleased with all of her puppies, so she loves all of them. Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston. Spring arrived, and the proud mother was eager to show off her darlings. She took them to the park for their very first stroll, very first walk in public. There was much to see. Daffodils, ducklings, dogs. Oh dear, who do we have here? My friends, what do you notice about these dogs? What's going on here? Yeah, these puppies kind of look like Gaston, but look, what's this one over here? They have a puppy that looks like these puppies, and they have a puppy that looks like those puppies. Do you think there was a switch up? Let's see, over here we have Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Hmm. Hmm. Would you like to see them again? Let's get a closer look. Here they are. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette. Hmm. What do you notice, my friends, about these dogs? Do they? Does one of them look different? Does one of them not look like the others? Antoinette over here looks a bit different, huh? Hmm. She kind of looks like Fifi, Fufu, and Ooh La La. <gasps> this was more than a little awkward. The mothers sized up the pups. The pups sized up one another. Kind of looked at each other. It seems there's been a terrible mistake, Mrs. Bulldog said, breaking the silence. So it sounds like these dogs over here are bulldogs, not poodles. Oui, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed sadly. Oui, oui is how you say yes, yes in French. Whatever shall we do? Mrs. Bulldog could not come up with an answer. I guess we'll let them decide, she replied at last. So looks like they're going to let the puppies decide what they want to do. And look at the puppies. They're kind of like, what do you think they're thinking as they look at each other? 
yeah, kind of like, huh, something looks a bit different, right? Gaston and Antoinette were young, but even they could see there had been a mix-up. The two puppies began to circle around and around the group. I wonder what they're going to decide. What do you think? Let's find out. Gaston walked with grace. Antoinette raced. Gaston yipped. And Antoinette yapped. Hmm. So it sounds like they do the opposite things, huh? My friends, what happened over here? What did the puppies decide? They switched, huh? And when they finally came to a stop, the puppies had traded places. There. That looked right. But it just didn't feel right. Hmm. What do you think they mean by that, my friends? It looked right, but it didn't feel right. Yeah, it looks like they all belong to the same family, but how do Gaston and Antoinette feel? They don't look like they're too happy about it, do they? That evening, Antoinette tried to fit in with her new sisters, but she did not like anything proper or precious or pink. Phooey! Mm. What is she doing with all of their stuff? Is she happy there? Not really. On the other side of town, Gaston tried to fit in with his new brothers, but was he fitting in very well? Doesn't look like it. He did not like anything brutish or brawny or brown. So he didn't like anything that was tough or strong or brown. So what does it look like these puppies get like to do in their free time? It looks like they like to roll around in the trash, play with balls, pick bones, and <laughs> he likes to read and drink tea. Does he look very happy? He's kind of saying, ick. Oh no, my friends. Did they make a very good choice switching? What do you think they're going to do? Switch back, maybe? Antoinette and Gaston weren't the only ones who were having a hard time adjusting, a hard time getting used to this change. Who else was having a hard time with it? Let's look over here. Oh, it looks like Mom. How does she feel? She's looking at the picture of Gaston. Kind of looks like she misses him. And over here, let's see what's going on. Here's Mama Bulldog, and what is she doing? She's kind of looking up at their picture, too, and how does she feel? Like she misses Antoinette. Hmm. So my friends, even though it looks like they all belong together, do they really belong together? No, right? Just because they look together doesn't mean that they're a family. Hmm. The next morning, Mrs. Poodle forgot all about being proper and raced back to the park. <gasps> Why do you think she's racing back? Think they're going to switch puppies again? Mrs. Bulldog was already there, waiting with her burly brood, her strong little brood, her strong little group of puppies. It seems we've made a terrible mistake, she nearly shouted. Oui, oui, Mrs. Poodle agreed happily. Why do you think she's so happy Mrs. Bulldog said they made a mistake? Because she wants to switch back her puppies. This time, Gaston and Antoinette wasted no time switching places. There, that looked right. And it felt right, too. My friends, does that look better? Are they back with their family where they belong? And how do they feel about it? They feel a lot happier about it, right? So to them, they grew up with this family. They learned how to act like them and be like them. So this is the family that they belong to, even if they might look a little different. They grew up and love each other and like doing the same things, right? From that day forward, the family spent in the park every afternoon to play. Rocky, Ricky, Bruno, and Antoinette taught the poodle puppies a thing or two about being tough. Ooh, like what are they learning to play? Tug of war. Likewise, Fifi, Fufu, and Ulala and Gaston taught the bulldog puppies a thing or two about being tender. So tender means nice and soft and sweet and gentle. 
So what are they learning to do? Aw, oh, looks like they're sharing acorns with the squirrel. That's a really sweet thing to do. And many years later, when Gaston and Antoinette fell in love and had puppies of their very own, they taught them to be whatever they wanted to be. The end, my friends. Also, oh, looks like Gaston and Antoinette, they grew up and they had their own puppies. And look at these puppies. What do you notice about them? Yeah, they look like a mix of Antoinette and Gaston, right? Half bulldog, half puppy. So cute. Which one's your favorite? What do you think they named them? Those are cute puppy names. All right, my friends, the end. So that was the story of Gaston. And my friends, what did you like about this book? Lots of fun, cute things going on. Yeah, the puppy names are really fun to say. Fifi, Ulala, Antoinette, and Gaston, right? The story had a message in it. What do you think was the story was trying to teach us about? Yeah, it's trying to tell us to be true to ourselves and to be however and whoever we want to be, right? And to not let appearances get in the way. So don't let people judge you by how you look like, right? And don't judge others about how they look like. Take a look and see how they act and how they behave and what they're like in their personality. That's what's important, right? And it sounds to me like family isn't just the people who look exactly like you, right? Family is the people who love you and you get along with and you love and care about in return. I wonder, how do you think Gaston and Antoinette got switched in the first place, though? Yeah, I don't know. All of those are good ideas, though. That'd be an interesting story to figure out. Maybe you could make up your own story about how they got switched in the first place. Let's move on to this week's craft. It's all about matching puppies and finding out which ones look the same and remembering. You'll see what I mean when we talk about it. Are you ready? Let's find out what our craft is. All right, my friends. So for this week's craft, we have a puppy dog memory matching game. And I don't know if you've ever played those memory games where you have a bunch of cards and you turn them over and face down. And they have pictures on the back, right? And you turn them all over, you lay them face down. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like this, kind of. Like this. And you lay them all over or face down. And then on each side is a different picture. And you try to match them and try to remember where you put them. So I grouped them so that all the yellow ones had the poodles on them. And all the green ones have the bulldogs. But let me show you with the green ones. You kind of lay them out all organized. And since there are four bulldog puppies, there's four pairs to match. So there's four sets of dogs that you have to match. So I lay them out, kind of organize them neatly so that it's easy to remember where they are. Because it's called memory. Because if you don't get it right, the right match the first time, then you can go back and try to remember where it was if you find a one that does match. So for example, I got this one. And then I'm going to guess, how about this one? And, oh, do these two match? No, right? So I'm going to put them back and try again. Hmm, ooh, I got Gaston. And what about this one? Oh, no, not another match. And so you keep playing and you try to find the matches. Oh, look, I feel like I just had this one. Ah, match. Just like that. And then if you want to switch, if you finish that game, you can play with the poodles. Or you can do a challenge and you do all of them at once. But a little trick is that the yellow ones are all the poodles and the green ones are all the bulldogs. That can kind of help you out if you do all of them at the same time. So my friends, it's a cool, fun little memory game and it's all about the little puppies and like seeing which ones go together and which ones match. The poodles have different hair decorations that help you find out which ones go together. And... This craft is super simple because I actually have a template online for you on my blog, my storybook, that has all these little puppies already drawn out. So all you have to do is print out the templates, color them in with matching colors so that they can match, and then cut them out. I glued mine onto this cardstock or construction paper, so that way you can't see through um, the paper. Unless you print it on thicker paper, you might be able to see through the paper and see what kind of dog you have. So. That would make it super easy. So if you glue it onto a construction paper, you can't see through. 
And that way you can color coordinate them to match with the different dogs that you do on each different color. Okay, my friends, so this fun activity can be found on the blog, My Storybook. The resources pages are there, so please go check those out, as well as some directions on how to get the craft set up and get the activity started. It's a very fun game, so I hope you check it out. If you do play this game and make your own memory cards or do this own reading adventure with your own storybook, Gaston, please do share with my storybook. I'd love to hear about your own reading adventures and see your own memory games. You can tag me on Instagram at My Storybook Library or find me on YouTube, the blog, or Facebook by clicking on all of those social media links down below. Remember, new interactive shared reading read-alouds come out every Friday, and they're a really exciting way to engage your child in dialogue and conversation throughout a story and really get them engaged and an active participant in any read-aloud. So those come out every Friday. Please be sure to comment, like, and subscribe to keep up with all of our weekly reading adventures. Okay, my friends, well, I had a lot of fun reading about Fifi, Fufu, Ooh La La, and Gaston with you this week. I look forward to seeing you next week for our new reading adventure. But until then, have a lovely first week of April, and I will see you next week. Happy reading!